Hello and welcome. This is Mel Skinner, and we're back with some more Football Manager 2017. And we just came away with the win in our last game, so we're now ranked third, surprisingly enough, uh, with a team that was predicted to be finishing in 16th. Now, the season has just started, so we can't get too confident yet. Now, I am noticing some good news here on the homepage. Rob Hall is no longer uh, out. But he is doubtful for the next match. And more than likely, we'll just keep him out until he is fully ready. I am also noticing some bad news, though, here. Uh, Phil Edwards is uh, one yellow card away from a suspension. He has been racking them up. Uh, and that could be a problem as he is our best defender. So we definitely don't want him out on any suspensions. All right. Well, with that said, let's take a look at the inbox here. So we won a close match, although uh, I would say for the most part we dominated the game. There was one player that got a red card on the opposing team that really helped solidify things because that shut them down in the last half. Uh, I would have liked to have scored more than we did, but I'll take the win. There was also the first goal for uh, McDonald, who we have just recently put into a starting position. So that's good to see as well. Um, all right, so we already took a look at our standings here. Uh, Rob Hall has completed the recovery phase of his treatment plan following torn knee ligaments and is now able to begin rehabilitation work. He, expect, he is expected to be able to resume full training in about four weeks, so that's good news. Again, we could press him into a game, but there's no point. I think our starting lineup is fine without him, and let's let him rest and get better here. Okay, uh, post-match analysis. Again, McDonald had a good game, uh, considering that he hasn't been part of the starting squad until more recently. That's good news. Hopefully, we can get him in the right direction there. Unfortunately, Hemmings had a bad game, but hopefully, he will bump, uh, come right back on in the next game. All right, so what do we got here? Um, Hartley's training... Um, has done okay over the last three months, needs better focus and application during training. Squad general character has had a positive effect lately. So there's nothing really to do here. They're just giving me a overall report on this player. And this player is not part of my main squad. This is the, uh, head of youth development telling me about this. So it's not something I'm really all that concerned about. So let's go ahead and continue as I don't think there's anything else that we need to take a look at outside of the one thing I want to take a look at is are guys that are right now in international duty they'll be back in two days our next scheduled game is going to be on the 10th so we should get them back in time so i'm just going to go ahead and come back over here and we'll load in our normal setup so tyler roberts is now available as a sub that did hurt us a little bit in the last game we didn't have really an appropriate sub for any of our attacking midfielders. And that, I think, is a little bit of a problem with our depth, but you're never going to have really perfect subs uh, with a limited sub roster. So let's go ahead and can you continue now that we've made that change. Okay, Hall begins re rehabilitation. That's good. Now, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do as far as the setup of our team all right what do we got here okay so this is just a under 23 match all right that's fine continue uh scouting report i do want to check my scouts just to make sure that they're continuing to have a job so this, is, I'm assuming, is the team we'll be playing next. We'll take a look at them. They're eighth in the Sky Bet League 1, so that's not too bad. Uh, might be a tough match, depending on... Uh, we'll see also where they're predicted. All right, so their formation has been working for them. Um, okay. So their best player's form uh, is not really ranking them all that high, so... Maybe individual player-wise, they're not as strong, but uh, their formation has been working for them. Uh, it says there's no particular focus. Okay. So Luke Norris is a goal-scoring threat. Okay. That's good to know. Um, I was just talking about doing something, and I don't remember what it was because I was paying attention to this. Oh, yeah, scouting. Scouting. Um, 
All right, so they're out on assignment. Uh, as long as they're going to continue with that, I think they'd even tell me if they needed something to do. So let's just go ahead and continue here. All right, nothing really going on. Still nothing going on. All right, international play, I'm assuming, is going on. Hopefully our players that are out there, they get some nice experience, maybe, and don't get injured. Okay, according to this, um, I don't think we really care about any of that. Okay, loan report, filed some stats for the current crop of players out on loan. Um, so Ashby's one of the guys we just recently sent out. He's got a lot of good potential, so hopefully with some first-team experience, he can come back to us and uh, will be a more valuable player in the future. This guy, not so much, but what the heck. Um, I, I, Ashby was the one that I actually had direct control of loaning, so this I must have inherited. Okay, what do we have here? Daniel Carr. So this is another uh, developmental player. I'll just apply whatever advice they say to do. That's fine. Okay, uh, on the two Oxford players uh, representing their countries at both senior and youth levels, yesterday's international fix fixtures, okay? Yeah? All right, that's fine. I don't, I don't care about international competition. At least not at the moment, I don't. All right. So we're, we've dropped down to fifth, but I believe some teams may... Well, no, it looks like they've all played six games, so we just didn't have some teams playing yet. As a matter of fact, this team has yet to play their sixth game, which is weird because everybody else has played their sixth game, unless I'm missing something. Oh, here, Bristol. Okay. And, oh, I forgot to check the team we were going to play. Let's, uh, let's take a look at that. So it's going to be Swindon here. Swindon is predicted to finish 11th. Hmm. Wasn't... Ah, okay, they're predicted to finish 12th. That, that, the numbers were so close, I was like, wasn't that the same thing the previous team was uh, listed as? So again, a team that's expected to finish above uh, where we were expected to finish. And currently in our league, Swindon is in 9th and we are in 5th. But again, I don't think we can take these guys lightly. All right. Taylor starts on coaching course. Okay. Started working on a coaching course with the aim of getting a Continental A license. If successful, Taylor will complete the course after approximately 12 months of study. Oxford will be covering a 3K fee for the course. All right, that's fine. I don't think they asked me about that, but that's okay. All right. How are our finances doing? I don't think we're losing money anymore, but we'll have to see. <laughs> Out of curiosity, I see the sponsors and, and others. Ah, okay, so that's what we're getting. All right. I don't think there's anything we can do at the moment with that. I haven't really seen how some of the more complex elements, the financial stuff, uh, work yet. Okay, pre uh, analysis. So Swindon had a draw, it looks like, in their last match. Um, they did get more shots on target than their opponent, but it looks like overall they had less shots and the opponent controlled possession more. And their formation, okay, is a little bit more uh, towards the defensive side, it looks like. So... We'll have to see how that matchup works because we're more towards the offensive setup. All right. Um, Chris Allen again. This is, uh, I don't think, our main squad, so we'll just apply whatever advice they say. All right. We're a day away from the match. 
Double first chain players don't care. Oxford pre-match tactical advice. Again, practically the exact same things it always tells me to do. Um, and I always ignore it. Uh, even if it gives me advice to do something I'm already doing. Um, okay. And we've got some other things. Transfers and contracts advice summary. Okay. Transfer list. Lacks the necessary ability. Loan list. Loan list. Okay. So they want me to put these people on loan or transfer. All right, I'll do that. Um, apply, apply, apply. That's fine. I don't, again, I don't think these are guys on my main squad. So uh, if this is the advice they're going to give, that's fine. And players to offer professional contract. Ethan Barker. Okay. He has a lot of potential. He is a, uh, okay. So he can play in the middle pretty much in a number of positions. All right. Um, so they want me to offer him a contract. All right. Well, contract type. Gonna be full time. He's a hot prospect. That's exactly what we want. Um, job. He's a player. Uh, contract start date immediate. Contract length. It's gonna be a couple years. And looks like they've already kind of put in some things for him. And we're gonna be paying him that much. Okay. This is a contract I would like. Let's see if we can bring him down slightly, because I don't think he's necessarily worth that much. And, uh, we don't really have any budget remaining, so this will cost us some money to do. Alright, well, we'll, uh, we'll offer this. He's understandable, but I wish to have had all. Okay, whatever. Alright. That's fine with me. Okay, um... Let's continue here and get into the match. A whole bunch of stuff here. Not expected for Swindon match. Okay, are we home? I didn't pay attention. We are home, so that's good. That's, I think, our first sellout, actually. Um, all right, so uh, sellout with supporters clamoring to see the team. Okay, over 12,200 tickets are expected to be sold. And I think that's our max capacity. Um, okay, out of the hope the club would get a capacity crowd for an unforgettable match. Uh, okay. It's 9,045 so far this season. On a further note, um, have the 11th best average attendance in the Skybet League 1. That's good. Uh, Swindon will be backed by a decent number of traveling supporters with around 600 fans. I expect it at the 12,205 capacity ground to follow the team away from home. So we're going to have... Quite a crowd in this particular game. That's very good. Um, hopefully it's because of our good performance lately. All right, so this is the... Uh, it says Oxford's home advantage gives them an edge. And what will what should be a close encounter. Okay, I kind of figured as much. Uh, so we have the slight edge there, but uh, draws possible likelihood according to that uh, analysis. Okay. All right, so this is a rivalry, I guess. All right. I didn't know that. Um, hmm. So J uh, Jonathan Obika is uh, maybe threatening player. Okay, Swinton Boss on Oxford's rivalry. Okay. So this is just a news report of what he had to say. Um, okay, we have this, and I guess we have to answer this. I can't send my assistance. Luke Williams has been surprisingly blasé about the importance of an upcoming match uh, to his fans. Do you share his view about the lack of importance of this match? Um, I'm not going to be a, a dick, so the importance of this match speaks for itself. And I was surprised to hear, okay, Luke Williams was right. The media are far too desperate to build up matches like this. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, if only It's only the fans who get concerned about bragging rights. Wow, that's not the right thing to say. Let's everything... I take everything he says with a pinch of salt, to be honest. 
He is just trying to get under my skin by playing down the importance of the game. Um, hmm. All right, well, I'll just say uh, this. Uh, the win is more important than a mere result. Okay, I think it may be the occasion. It's it's getting to him a bit. It looks to me like he's trying to convince himself that there is a, a less writing on this match than there actually is. He'll be in for a rude awakening when he experiences the atmosphere on Saturday. All right. Ah. Uh, I don't think there's really anything here that is not a dickish comment, so we're just going to go with... Uh, we'll go with this one. Okay. You seem very confident about your own ability to handle pressure compared to Luke Williams. Is there a danger you might underest be underestimating him? All right, let's be calm here. Um, I think you lot are twisting my words a bit here. I'm confident about my own ability. That doesn't mean I'm being dismissive of Luke's talent. I think that's true. Hmm. Not letting myself get too carried away. Like Luke will be a tough opponent, but I'm confident we can get a good result and send the fans home with bragging rights. Yeah, okay, we'll say this. I'm not interested him at all. That's probably the best comment. All right, whatever. I, I prefer not dealing with those. That's why the assistant's supposed to take care of those things. But uh, that one apparently was a necessary one for me to take. Okay, I don't remember saying that he's underestimating Oxford, but oh well. Um, I just wanted to have to report uh, has sustained an injury. Jeez. Uh, after the center mid the defender landed heavily during a training session. Okay, well, this is not a part of our main squad. So, again, I don't care, but we're racking up injuries in our, our, our lower teams. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't care. All right, let's get into the match here. We've had enough messing around. And we are being televised, too. That's good. Oh, no, I apologize. That's for, against Bolton, which is all the way over here. So uh, that's just a heads up there. And then I have a quick report in the late fitness test regarding the condition of Rob Hall ahead of the match against Swindon. So he has failed yet again, not ready for fitness test at this point, not re recommended to be selected. I'm not going to. The medical team advised you that, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, match preview. Okay, so Swindon's going with the uh, setup that we saw them play in their last match, and we're going to be going uh, with our new setup uh, that was pretty successful the last time we used it. Uh, and let's hope that it is successful in this matchup, too. Um, we now have Tyler Roberts as a sub, which is great. He's a little tired, though, from his uh, international play, but I think we'll be okay. And let's submit the team. And away we go. So let's see what the... Um, Pre-match analysis has to say about our chances here. This game has a draw written all over it. Uh, okay, well, let's get out there and make it not a draw. Uh, hopefully not a loss either, but all right, let's go. Oh, no, I'm not talking to you. Go away. Okay, opposition instructions. All right, apply advice. So we're going to be closing down and marking some guys. So closing down this guy. Okay. You say so. And continue the pep talk. Try and encourage the team. Get out there. We got a full crowd out there, so let's so let's give them hell. Yeah, let's give the fans something to cheer today. All right. Let's get out there and messing up. All right, we're starting with the ball. That's good. I like that. 
There's some nice momentum here. Ooh. And then a little aggressive play early. If the ball had been lifted a little bit higher, gotten past that defender, it could have been a nice break chance, but that didn't work out for us. All right, we get a free kick here. All right, just a warning though, no card. Throw in. We win it though. Kick it ahead to Hemmings. All right. Hemmings gets tackled, but Johnson's in to pick up. Johnson's to McGuire. McGuire, more than likely. Oh, he's got into the. Hmm. All right, well. He at least made an attempt for it. It was off target. But I'm not going to hate him for that aggressive play. We get the ball out. Okay. Let's see if we can get a play going here. Johnson. Calming it down the way we, I like uh, us to play. Johnson's got an opportunity here for a cross. And Hemmings is there. Back of the net. Fantastic. Perfect play. That's the play that we're looking for. Every game. And it's good to see Hemmings on the board. He's had a rough season early on. Great preseason. Rough season. But it's good to see him back on form here. Nice pass in, and Hemmings just finds the back of the net. All right. We're the only ones with shots on goal at this point, and we have been uh, leading the possession battle. We win that, but uh, McGuire's not going to quite get to it in time. Fumbled pass there. They're, they're tossing the ball up uh, in the air quite a bit. Fortunately, Lundstrom doesn't win that ball. So they're going to be on the attack here for the first time, really. Ooh, we had a chance there to intercept the ball. Um, they've got a good play set up maybe here. Uh, weak, weak shot there. Eastwood was able to catch it. McGuire's got a chance here. Passes it to McDonald. McDonald doesn't have a play immediately, but he has a cross chance. Unfortunately, a little too deep into the box, but uh, the goalie did tip it, so we get a corner here. Lifted it high, a little too high, but Ledson's going to be there to bat it down. Passes it back to Edwards to reset. Edwards lifts it up. A little too aggressive. I think Hemmings would have been offside. Well, it would have been called if he would have been offside. So maybe it was worth a chance. That's not the kind of thing that we're looking for. All right. So we're maintaining the possession battle here. Uh, Lundstrom picks up a yellow card. That's not good news. All right, free kick there. I don't like that. All right, warning, though. Ooh, nice opportunity there. Unfortunately, it uh, gets cleared. McGuire's going to pick it up, though, so we're going to reset the offense. Passes it to Johnson, who is open. Uh, McDonald tries a shot there, but it gets deflected, but we're going to have a corner here. Another opportunity. And we have men on it, but unfortunately, nobody there. Johnson's going to get a cross here. And they just bat it back for a corner. They attempt it, but uh, they knock it out again. Letson gets the ball, passes it to Johnson. Johnson is there for a possible cross. No, he just goes for, I think, uh, either a direct shot. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they count that as a shot or not. I 
think one of the advice things there I wanted to follow, though, it was he's getting too much space for his crosses. If we don't close him down uh, better, eventually one of the crosses will connect. Let's go ahead and make that change. Add opposition instruction for this player. Okay. I think that's a good call. All right, they've got a play going here, a dangerous one. Norris has got some space there, but we managed to tackle it away, but they recover. And wide open. Eastwood gets a deflection, though. And we clear it, luckily. Johnson is there to pick it up. That was very dangerous, but our, our goalie came in. And uh, unfortunately, Johnson just let himself get tackled out there. Murray gets space again. And he just takes the long bomb. Eastwood's there to catch it. They're starting to get more shots on goal, which we don't want to see. Johnson's not able to get the goal kick. All right. They're going to another setup for the offense here. They have... One, the uh, starting to win back the possession battle. We managed to clear it a little bit. Murray has space and makes makes the goal. Well, that's unfortunate. But they had a good play going there, and it was definitely a threat. So, a tackle there almost worked, but Murray manages to pick the ball, has space, and just drives it in. All right, we get a free kick here. Let's see if we can make something happen. And we did immediately. Fantastic. Lundstrom gets his first goal of the season. Off of the free kick. Let's see if it was a header. Yep, nice header. Right into the corner there. Didn't have a lot of speed on it, but just had enough angle to get in there. All right, we're going to have the half soon. Two goals to one. Good half. That wasn't the worst first half we've ever seen. Just tell them the team there's improvement. Yeah, room for improvement. Okay. Um, let's be passionate here. Yeah, you played well so far, but there's still room for improvement. Let's get him out there and uh, start the second half here. We're going to have to be cautious with Lundstrom, but I'm not going to sub him yet. He's playing well. He got us a goal. Oh, I got a chance here, but we're there. Pick it up. Lifting the ball there. Uh, Let's manage to knock that down. Good play. McDonald, just calm the play down here a little bit. We've been playing a little loose. Uh, they'll kick it out, but that is a... Throw in for us. Fortunately, offside there. They uh, turn things around and get a throw in on their end. Scars knocks it down, clears it, but unfortunately, ooh, there we go. Lundstrom comes in with a tackle. Uh, McGuire in for the ball. Ooh, tries for a pass, loses it. Hemmings has got space for McDonald. McDonald doesn't have space, but he passes it in. Unfortunately, McGuire was offside there. But it was a good attempt. Got the goal kick. Hopefully we can win it. Looks like we do. Hemmings is going to be there. Hemmings to McGuire. McGuire, unfortunately, does not win that ball. And they pass it back to the goalie. Good defensive play. Looks like we're going to be there in time, but Norris does manage to win it. Okay, they've got a play set up. Our defense has not been main, been able to contain them very well. Except for uh, the guys on our wings have been playing very well. Managed to clear it to McGuire. McGuire's just going to calm it down a little bit. Dribble passes man. Get it into space with Johnson. Johnson has a pass to Hemmings maybe. Oh, but he doesn't uh, get anything off there. Deflection. I don't know if he was going to go for the pass or the shot. Probably been wiser. I'm not sure what that was. Maybe just a desperation clear. But we're getting a lot of opportunities here in the second half. We've got a throw in, though, close to the side here. Possible cross here. Ooh, Lundstrom jumps in, knocks that play down out. Hemmings uh, manages to get there, but unfortunately doesn't set the ball down, and they recover. All right. Oh, no. There comes another goal. 
Our defense collapsed there and unfortunately resulted in another goal as Obika had plenty of time to set up the shot and had had it at close range too. He's open and just has plenty of time to just drive it in. Not with a lot of power, but he had the angle he needed and the goal went in. All right, well, we're even things up. It looks like it may be a draw here after all, but let's see if we can make some things happen. Okay, there is some play going on here. Um, let me uh, see what's going on with the opposition. They have changed to a 4-2 strategy. Um, let's see if we can maybe switch up the advice here a little bit because they have had subs come in. Um, all right. Good. Let's confirm those changes. We're not going to be able to make any subs of our own for the meantime just because of some tax changes. Uh, so we're going to have to play, wait for another play here. Okay, we've got control here. Leads into McGuire. McGuire has an opportunity with McDonald. McDonald had a good shot there. Just uh, goalie managed to get in there. I don't know if it's going to allow us to take a look at subs here. Okay. Um, we're at 62 minutes. I think the squad can continue going at this pace. Let's just see what happens for the next little while here. Mm, a little too long. It's going to be another corner for us. They have a lot more guys in the box than we do. Oh my gosh, that was close. That was close. The goalie didn't look like he had control of it initially, and I thought it might go out of his hands. Dangerous here. Luckily, the player was not able to pick up that, that dribbling uh, header there, I think. Because that could have been very bad. Okay. We're looking at the 65-minute mark. Okay, there's the yellow card on the other team. We're going to have free kick here. Johnson almost gets it in. Um, that is unfortunate. We didn't get control of the ball there. They're going to be on a drive here. Let's see if we can knock it down. We managed to. McDonald, we've got good movement here, but let's just calm it down a little bit, maybe. Dwyer to Johnson. Johnson doesn't have anything going. They've been closing him down a lot, it looks like. Johnson to McGuire. McGuire has space, but loses it. Pass ahead, but uh, Bika doesn't get control and just heads it ahead, I think. At least they cleared it. I mean, that's good for them. But we're right back on the drive here. Let's up to Hemmings. Hemmings to McDonald. McDonald has space, but doesn't manage to get the shot in. All right, well, let's see our stamina here. I don't think, again, we need to make substitutions until maybe the 70 minute mark. We're winning the possession battle again. Whoa, time really jumped ahead. That is a lot more than I wanted it to jump ahead there. It's funny how, like, time will crawl, time will crawl, and then suddenly, boom, you have, like, five minutes go by. All right, well, uh, I think it's time to start moving things around here. So, um, I want more attacking, to be honest with you. Even though uh, Raglan here is getting tired, I think I'm going to make some subs here, mostly in the midfield and up uh, ahead. So we're going to make a change to Ledson. Ledson is tired. Uh, we need to bring somebody in for him. So we're going to put in uh, Dan Crowley here. And we're also going to sub out Lundstrom so that we can get somebody in that uh, doesn't have a card on them. But one thing we can do is we can change uh, to a more attacking role here. And then Crowley... And put him on support, I think. Okay, uh, that is two changes that I want to make. We could also sub out either McDonald or McGuire here. So McDonald, we could get uh, Tyler Robertson, which would be a nice uh, fresh set of legs to, uh, for maybe the attack. 
And McDonald hasn't uh, necessarily had a great game. Um, and as a result, I'm thinking about changing him out. So we'll give Tyler Roberts a chance uh, coming from international play. And let's see what we can set him up as. So we've got winger on support. It looks like we'll be keeping uh, the role that was maybe already there. Have we had Johnson on attack? He shouldn't he be on support? Hmm. I could have swore he was on support. All right, well, we'll put Johnson on attack and keep him there anyway because we have Robert supporting. All right, I think those are the changes we're going to make. We're going to get fresh legs on there and mostly for the attack. So we've got our midfield uh, set up, and we've got a new fresh lay, a set of legs for Roberts uh, coming in as well. Uh, hopefully that will give us an opportunity. Let's confirm these changes. That's a lot of subs all at once, but uh, I think it's a good time for it. Let's see if we can get that paying off for us. So Roberts immediately is going to be able to use those fresh set of legs. We'll pass it to Hemmings. Hemmings, oh no! Hemmings, you had it there. Oh. All right, well, Johnson's going to be taking the corner, it looks like. Because McGuire is out. He's a normal corner taker. Ah, Dunkley fumbles it. All right, well, we'll have to see if these subs work for us. Uh, we are maintaining the attack and the possession game. A risky pass there. But it doesn't pay off, and they're on the attack now, which is not what we want to see. Do not lose this game for me in the last minutes of the, the game again. Ooh, desperation shot there. Okay, the goal kick. Hopefully the fresh legs will help us win this ball here. Goes straight to Roberts, so he's right there. Hemmings has up, got a little bit of space, but not the speed to make uh, take advantage of it. Hemmings is wide open and gets it in. That's what we're looking for. He makes up for his missed shot earlier and gets it into the back of the net. Fantastic. We've got a little bit of time left to go, um, but we're leading right now. And now we just have to hold on. But I'm also not going to take my foot off the gas pedal as far as the attack because we made subs to attack and we're going to keep doing that. So uh, we're going to have a free kick here. It goes to Roberts. Roberts is going to play the ball over to Crowley. We've got some space here over on the right, but uh, unfortunately we play it to the left. Okay, get it over... Circombe or Circom or however you pronounce that guy's name. Still haven't figured that one out. Rally over McGuire. McGuire. Actually, you know what? McGuire is playing. I'm surprised he didn't take that corner. Roberts manages to get through, but unfortunately, uh, either bobbles the ball there or got it deflected or something, but loses possession either way. Goalie gets a hold of it. We're going to try for the ball there, and McGuire manages to win it. We get it over to Roberts. Roberts has a good cross opportunity here. Unfortunately, it fails, but we got another opportunity. McGuire is going to have space here. Oh, pinballing there. Unfortunately, not able to take advantage. And they're going to be on the offense here. We still got plenty of time in the game for them to come back. We don't know how much added time there's going to be. It has not been called yet. All right. We're on this guy. We're closing down pretty hard here, but it might leave opportunities for somebody else. We managed to win the ball. Fantastic defensive play there. I'm, I'm very surprised with the good play. Johnson has gotten a really good opportunity here, but then fumbles a pass. that could have given us a good breakaway chance. I, you know, we gotta realize that Johnson and the some of the other attacking players like Hemmings are getting tired at this point so they're going to make some mistakes hopefully Crowley can get the ball to Johnson there unfortunately uh, he isn't able to control it uh, we've got another attack by the opposition here attempted uh, tackle there Whew, there was a break there but uh, fortunately Eastwood uh, does a fantastic job for us he's had a number of good stops that I, I'm very pleased with we've got a throw in here uh, Aggressive throw in. 
works out for them. They've got space, but guy just bombs it and has just a little bit too much lift on it. A little bit, way too much lift on it. Okay, we're probably the last few seconds of the game here. And there we go. We managed to eke out a win, 3-2. But at the same time, it looks like we dominated. I don't get to see the stats here, but it looks like we dominated possession and shots on goal. So um, we don't have anything to address. My ass, we have plenty to address. Well done, guys. That was a good win for us. Um, all right. Fantastic. Let's go to the post-match analysis where we're more than likely going to hear about how it was supposed to be a draw and it didn't end up that way. Uh, but uh, let's see our strong performers here. Um, Hemmings, uh, who had, I guess, two goals there. I predicted a draw before the game. Um, yeah, we won. Great. So, yeah, really good uh, performance there. Uh, key player also Johnson. Not exactly sure what he did. Maybe one assist there. Yeah, yeah. Early in the game, he got that assist. I remember that. All right. Well, let's go ahead. Leave the match. And uh, we are on a pretty good streak here. That's three straight wins. Now, only two of those are in our actual championship uh, league. The other one was in a cup. But still, really happy with the results that we're getting out of the team. It looks like the strategy uh, changes that I made uh, after those first six games of the season really paid off, and I'm really pleased that we are getting the results that I want. We're getting the more offensive strategy that I've always uh, wanted to see, the, and we've been doing the more control passing game uh, that we weren't seeing earlier in the season. In any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.